The Oregon Ducks avenging a loss at home to Boise State last year. They win it by a dozen. They do so without the services of Bull Bull. Out with a foot injury, they'll be evaluated again next week. The Ducks winning despite a career night by Alex Hobbs at Boise State. Matched his career high with 21 points, 16 in the first half. Yeah, he came out and competed and battled for Leon Rice and the Boise State Broncos. 21 points, as you mentioned, but 16 of them came in the first half. It was a little too much too early, but Oregon, a balanced attack. Three players in double figures led by Peyton Pritchard's 19. He really calmed the storm in the second half and really directed traffic. Yeah, he had a team high 19 points, five rebounds, and three steals. Peyton Pritchard was seven to 12 from the floor. Paul White, meanwhile, had 14 points and five rebounds. He was solid throughout the game. Doesn't do anything flash. He does the little things. You close out, he's going to take you off the bounce. He's got the strength to finish through contact. And then he's added the versatility to change directions off the bounce. He had a nice night as well with 14 points. But to me, the story was Victor Bailey Jr. starting to really emerge as a sophomore. His ability to shoot a three beyond the three-point line is really going to open up his quickness, his athleticism, because when he can get out into the open floor, he can really show you his exciting athleticism. Yeah, Victor Bailey ended up with 13 points and three rebounds, and there are the numbers. The Ducks out rebounding Boise State 33-26. Boise State in the second half had just eight rebounds. Oregon's size and their determination on the glass really was one of the changing factors in that second half to go along with them shooting 65% just in that second half. A little bit too much for the Boise State Broncos to keep pace. So the Ducks win it, and they'll next take on Florida A&M at home on Tuesday at 3 o'clock on Pac-12 Network.